Okay. You guys, this week actually went really well, though there was still plenty of this. Oh no! To say this is going terribly is an understatement. Gosh, damn it. Oh my gosh. But all's well that ends well, right? Well, the bus wouldn't start this morning. Hopefully it's just because it's cold. Um, I was just gonna move it into the driveway so it doesn't actually matter, but look how good my skylight looks. Today I'm gonna get started on my ceiling and I am very, very excited. I was excited slash nervous. Now I'm mostly just excited because the part that I was nervous about was centering my first board and having it run straight. But turns out apparently my parents were in town last night and they just came over and chalked a line down the center for me, which was super cool. Didn't even know they were here. <laughs> So yeah, hopefully that helps me get my first board in place. And once my first board is in place, I'm not that intimidated by it because I've done some tongue and groove stuff before. Not this exact stuff, but some anyway. So I'm, I'm just gonna kind of do what I've done before. I guess there's nothing left to it except to go get my boards and get started. for so long, it's exciting to open them finally. Okay, so pretty straightforward, I think. A lot of people have expressed concern about this actually being able to hold these ceiling boards up. And as I've said myself many times, I'm also not unconcerned, but I'm just gonna try it. Worst case scenario, absolute worst case scenario, I can use I can screw into these metal ribs, and then there will be some thermal bridging and you'll be able to see the screws, but whatever. But I'm hopeful that it will work without having to resort to that because, like I said, I have these, which are pretty flimsy, but at least they're something. And then I also have these original bits of, I think they're one by 2s that I originally put in to support the ceiling before I changed my plan. So not all of the boards are going to be able to attach to these, but they're at regular in intervals, so several of them should be able to. So with that combination, I'm hoping I won't have to use the metal ribs, but if I do, that's okay. I got maximum strength Gorilla Glue. It's too bad I can't pour it upwards though. I feel like the stuff I have in place might actually do the trick to hold them up. Fingers crossed. But now the actual snag that I've run into is if you look down, so I have a line marked out all the way down to the end of the bus, all the way through. And when I first put this board up, it was lining all up until I got to the very back, which is the part of the line I just drew myself. So I was like, oh, hey, maybe I just didn't draw it straight because it was lining up on all the other marks up front. Now looking at it from up here, I think the board itself is kind of wonky. I think the line that I have is straight and it veers off from the line quite a bit at the back. Getting this first row in straight was my biggest concern from the beginning because I'm just very bad at measuring and like paying attention to details and stuff. After I get that up, I'm not too worried because then I just have to go off of that board. Getting this first whole row up straight is concerning for me. Not really sure what to do, but I really, really want to get this first one right because I know it's going to make the rest so much harder if I do it wrong. I think I might just try muscling it in a place, but I, I'm skeptical that I can do it, and I'm not sure what's going to happen if I push it too hard. But I don't know what else to do, really, so let's give it a shot. Okay, that went entirely easier than expected. <gasps> Never mind, do you see what happened? Seems that these boards are not gonna play nice. It's straight now, but it's a little bit saggy. I think what I need to do is add some more of these so that they're a little bit closer together, which I kinda thought I was gonna have to do anyway and I was planning on doing first, but I just got excited to do this. So I'm going to pause here, add all of the supports that I think I'll need, and then get back to it. I can't get it together and it, the tongue and groove just keeps breaking because it's so thin. Okay, I got one. Let's do this. Damn it! 
Oh, that does not bode well. I just took down all the progress I already made. I'm tempted right now to go take a break before I get too frustrated, but I actually, I don't think I need a break. What I need is to be better at this. Okay, had some lunch. I'm gonna try to actually just crank. This is my problem. Every time I put something up successfully, I just wanna stand back and stare at it for like 10 minutes. And that happens with every piece, which really slows me down. So I'm gonna try, set a timer for an hour and just be hella productive for that whole hour. It's getting easier, which is good because if it had stayed as hard as it was for the first couple of boards, it wasn't happening. One hour, see how much I can get done. One hour, starting now. I really did was undo the stuff I did wrong, redo it, and add a couple more pieces, but that's good. Lesson learned though on one thing. I've been trying to like get the board into place and then once it's in place over top of one of these, I nail it in right there and then go try to get the rest of it in place. I learned on this one, I put this nail in first while I went to work on the other ones. And then when I was working further back there, it pulled this one and because it was so close to the edge, it split the wood right there. And now this is still not even which is what I was trying to avoid, so I'll have to redo this part. But now lesson learned when I do like my preliminary nails, I'll do the center one first. Two hours ago, I would have said to say this is going terribly is an understatement. Now I would say it's going bad-ish. So if that trend holds, should have it done in no time, right? Badly, but better by the minute, so. I realize that I'm too tall for school buses now. Oh, how is it in this roof raise part, though? Oh, perfect. Yeah? Yeah. Is it comfortable? Is, oh, yeah. Like, imagine if there is a counter right here. Could you prepare a dinner and be comfortable? Yes, 100% kid right here. Okay. First light. I am nervous about this. Does that look good? Why not? Ugh. Oh geez, I sure hope I like that placement. actually do these connections, which means I gotta turn my light off. Oh no! Gosh damn it. Oh my gosh. So friggin' dumb. Why am I the way that I am? Glad I caught that. Where's my grabby tool? Where's my grabby tool? I really need to find my grabby. Tried to organize the bus before I drove down to Salt Lake the other day. The result is that I can't find anything ever. That's not gonna work. Okay. Hmm. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Need some stiffer wire. Ah! Remember this? The contraption. Oops. Go 
gosh damn it, you guys. I just blew a fuse because I forgot I had these on. Don't judge me. Oh, there we go. Yes. There we go. Nice. It looks so neat. Oh, that's exciting. Doesn't it look good? You probably can't even see. Um, I'm gonna quit on a high note, and I will be back at this bright and early in two days. Okay, guys. I had to work yesterday, but I came in here for a couple hours after work, and... <laughs> Might not look like much, because it's not. But I, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Put a couple more lights in back here. Not really totally sure they're actually in the spot I should have put them. But I figure it's one of those things that I'm not even gonna notice once it's not the only thing I'm paying attention to. Yeah, I spent some time yesterday trying to figure out. Um, the first day I was working on it, I realized that it is so much easier to work this way when you're putting like the tongue in here instead of trying to work around the tongue over here. And so I spent some time trying to figure out if it was gonna be possible for me to like weasel my way over to the side and work this way the whole way. I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't know. I'm st I still think I'm glad that I started in the center because the boards just really aren't straight, which is why I can't work my way over here and then come back. And I think it's important that the center one is straight so that the whole thing doesn't end up on like a slant. So I think I'm still happy that I started in the middle and I'm getting the hang of putting the boards in this way. So hopefully, hopefully today I'm able to crank out a lot of it. I have pretty much all day to work on it. So I'm just gonna see what I can do. Such a short time. I think I have to stop for the night because somehow like a pound of sawdust just floated into the air and straight into my eyeballs. Came out yesterday for a couple hours after work, put in some more boards this way, came out this morning, put in some more boards this way, put all the lights in. Now all my lights are in on this half of the bus. Bedroom lights, kitchen lights, living room lights, front lights. So this side's really coming along. Yesterday I also connected, so I had just one, I think I said I had just one long board all the way down the center of the bus. So I kind of had two halves that I was working on, I was worried they wouldn't connect. Yesterday I connected them and it went perfectly right here. So that's good. Now I'm gonna move over to this side, start moving 
from the back to the front. The last thing that I'm really nervous about is once I come around the skylight, whether these halves will match again. I'm gonna start working this way and then do the same thing on this side, bring it to the end of the skylight and then try to connect them and then pretty much just finish up from there. So wish me luck. It's time for me to put my other two bedroom lights in. The problem is, whenever I put these two in a couple days ago, I made a plan for how I was going to make sure they're lined up. I don't remember what the plan was. <laughs> Probably wasn't very good anyway. Okay. I think I'm just gonna try to match up the measurements from the back wall, even though these boards don't all line up. I think that's probably what my plan was in the first place. Uh, it's not great, but I don't have another one, so. Okay, so I guess I'm using a combination of measuring and my tried and true eyeball it and call it good method. Does that seem good? Kind of hard to tell when the ceiling goes further that way than that way. You know what? I think that is plenty good enough for me. I've been realizing recently that part of the reason I'm so inefficient with projects is because I have a really hard time staying on task. Like, I don't quit. I'll be in here, but my mind will just, like, start wandering. And then, soon enough, my mind's just on something totally different, and I'm just standing like this for minutes at a time. And I think it's even worse with projects that are, like, as visually satisfying as this one. Because every time I put a new board in, I just want to stand back and look at it and admire my work. <laughs> it's really wasting a lot of time, but yet here I am doing it right now. Okay, final moment of truth. Because if the piece that goes here fits to this one, to this one, nicely, then I think that means I'm in the clear and all there is left to do is to put all the rest of the pieces in. Oh, I'm nervous. I think it's gonna fit. I'm so happy. Yes. So happy that worked. That was my last real worry because now if, if you can see all of the sections, all the different sections of the bus are connected with the ceiling. So I'm no longer working on two different sections at once that may or may not actually connect in the right spot. I'm actually really surprised that went as well as it did. Probably this is mostly thanks to my parents coming and chalking that line for me because I don't think it would have gone as well if I had tried to do it by myself. <laughs> but yeah, I think now the stressful parts are over, I think. Most of it's in, most of the lights are in, all the pieces are connected. Now what I'm just gonna do is start from the back work to the front to fill in the rest of the missing space. Um, my only last concern is that I will run out of supplies. I don't think I will. I think I'll probably have like close to exactly the right amount. Hopefully I don't mess up too many pieces. I guess I'm just gonna, just gonna chug along on that. <clears throat> Day seven of the ceiling install. Making some progress. These like curved corners were a real. <laughs> on this side, it's also hard because I'm putting the groove in and the tongue's like flat against these. 
So I've started just cutting off the back, the back half of the groove, that one that's not going to show. Hopefully that doesn't cause any problems later on the road. I also figured out a trick to make myself more efficient, which is whenever I go out to go into the garage and use the saw, I'm not allowed to look up. I have to just walk straight to the saw because I've found myself pausing before I go out to cut the wood and being like, oh, looks so good or it looks so crappy, whatever. I've been wasting so much time doing that, so it's been going a lot faster since I made that rule for myself. I'm gonna get it done tonight. I decided enough is enough. Okay, good news and bad news. Good news, I finished the ceiling, yay. The bad news is I am so sick of it that I don't even wanna go in the bus ever again. I decided to reward myself after seven straight days of working on that ceiling, seven. Decided to reward myself with a little something fun. So right now, I'm going to scope out some possible campsites in the area because I think it would be good for me to kind of do a little test run somewhere really close. I went and scoped out one the other day, which I think could be good, but I wanna go check out a couple more. And then after I'm done with that, I will get back to the bus, clean it up, show you guys the results. Well, I guess that answers that one. Probably should have seen that coming. On to the next. Okay, well this place is also not gonna work. At least this was a nice drive though. Back to the bus. Okay, so here it is, final product. I would say overall I am happy with it. There's definitely parts that I'm more and less happy with. I'm really happy with the middle part. I feel like that went really well. I'm less happy with the sides where I go around the corners, especially this side. It's pretty gappy right here. I'm hoping everywhere where it looks too atrocious, it's either gonna be covered up by a cabinet or something or hopefully I can touch it up with a with some wood filler a little bit I don't know how that's gonna go but I'll try things I learned in this project were the trick that I've done with other tongue and groove stuff where you get like a scrap and put it on the edge and tap it with a hammer to help coax it into place that did not work at all also there's areas where I was using a lot of like little short pieces right here for example I don't think it looks terrible, but the reason I did that was because I was trying to like work in scraps wherever I could because I was afraid I was gonna run out. You guys, I bought 20 boxes of those wood planks and I have five left. <laughs> so I was not going to run out, but better safe than sorry, I suppose. And I think it looks fine. And again, there's gonna be like shelves and cabinets and stuff covering a lot of this. So just really, really hoping that as soon as I start driving down the road, the whole entire thing doesn't just crash down because that would be heartbreaking. Yeah, eventually, I'm going to have to fill up all these holes, all these nail holes, and finish it with something. I was thinking, I think I was leaning towards linseed oil, but I've never finished cedar before, so if anybody has any tips, I want to keep it maybe a little bit darker than this, but close to how it is now. So yeah, if anybody has any tips for the best ways to finish cedar, let me know. I'm really excited that all the lights look so like clean and finished and there's no more wires dangling into my space as I'm trying to work and yeah I'm just really excited to have the first thing done that's like actually gonna look like this once the, once the bus is finished. Next project I'm gonna try to tackle is gonna be putting up walls. I don't really know how to do that so here's hoping I can figure it out. Wish me luck and I'll see you next time. sent me something to my P.O. box and I think I know what it is. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's so pretty. This is so nice. It's so pretty. Thank you. Aww.